Hello, NJRoot22.com here again with another cheap wine reviews. And this week, it's an interesting, uh, rare kind of um, review. It's, I, I wonder if you can figure out how to say that. I don't know how good it focuses. I'm not using a good camera, I just want to remind you. This is called, might, you might want to say Bica or Basia or ba Baisa. I looked online. I mean, I, I was right when I call it Baika. 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 And I'll put a little clip in from a real Spanish person so you can see Baika. Baika. This is a Spanish wine that uh, the other wine drinker in our house came home the other day raving about it. Uh, oh, they have it at Bay Right uh, somewhere in, in Jersey, somewhere I think north of 22. And it's a $40 bottle of wine. It was 19 and then it was half price. It was 10 bucks. And it's become the, the hit wine of the week here. <clears throat> um, I'll do a little, uh, here's the commercial from, from uh, the Baica uh, uh, vineyards in, in Spain. You can take a look at it. It's a minute long. <music> Okay, now that we're back from that commercial, let me let me take a sip. Mmm. That wasn't a very good. Uh, my next sip, I'll take a better sip. Anyway, as I've said in the past, the, the wine industry is bizarre because it's all about reputation and 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 the information you get before you even drink it. Um, I, I opened this uh, bottle up and I tasted it without reading anything about it. I did the reading afterward. Um, I think it's okay tasting. And this is uh, this is uh, 6.5 ounce serving number two mixed with eight ounces of water and whatever water melt comes from the ice. That's how I drink the wine. So I get four glasses per bottle, just pretty much almost like every other person drinks it. But I water it down so I can drink a lot of it. But I'm gonna taste it right now. I hate doing this. I, I honest to God, everybody's taste is subjective. But I'm gonna taste a little bit. I've had the bottle open for about uh, an hour or so, so it's breathing and all this other stupid crap they teach you. But I'll take a sip. <clears throat> now that wasn't like a bad reaction. That was just me. <laughs> I wasn't ready for a strong, full, I'm not used to full strength wine, oh my God. Anyway, this does have a tart beginning, if they want to call it. I call it tart. Other people call it... <laughs> Let me read the review. This is from uh, Wine Enthusiast Magazine. I printed it out. This is old school. No computer going on here. Except for the camera and the editing and the clips I include and the music and the graphics and all this other garbage that you need to make a video these days. But <laughs> here, these reviews, it's a two sentence, th three sentence review. The Baica 2015 Barricado, ba Barricado, Organic Monastrell, Jumilla. Was it Jumia? I don't know. I, uh, who cares? I can spell it. Anyway, here's their quote Intense aromas, inky, leathery black fruits announce a full saturated palate that's bolstered by tartaric acidity. Who speaks like that? Intense aromas, ink. I've never eaten ink and I've never eaten leather. I mean, I guess leather is, is referring to the texture of it. It doesn't taste like leather, it doesn't feel. I've eaten my belt before, it doesn't taste like a belt. I mean, why do we have to think about it? You know what? I guess it's okay. You know, it doesn't burn my throat. It's it's not it's not uh, hobo wine. I've had hobo wine, but I guess 
they all breathe, but I don't drink it full strength. The other wine drinker in the house likes it a lot. <coughs> Big fan, because, but anyway, I did a quick, this uh, wine uh, spectator magazine, you're not gonna read it because uh, I'm using a substandard 10 year old DSLR and, and it's nowhere as good. That Sony I mentioned last week was amazing. It was like broadcast quality, 4K and all that other stuff. It was just, I'm, I would like to get it. If anybody wants to donate, because I can't afford it right now. If anybody wants to donate, um, I mean, maybe I should get a Patreon account or some uh, PayPal account so people can uh, donate to this channel. That would be nice. But this, um, it scored 90 points, whatever that means. Somebody named it, gave it a number. And they said price, $38. You're not going to be able to see that. But it says 38 bucks. And the receipt from uh, Bottle King, this was in Chatham, New Jersey, calls the Baica Baricado, Baricado, Jumila, Jumila. Um, it said, so the $40 price that they said in the store was just like marketing. It says regular price $24.99 and it's on sale for $10.98. A quick internet search, just so you know, did, it pretty much came up uh, almost exclusive buy right. So I think buy right has has the, the the dibs on this, and like every winery, and God knows they, they probably have the same bottle of wine with different labels, and it, it could be <laughs> it could be that there's only two bottles of wine in the world, and they just put different freaking bottles in, and maybe put a drop of something in it to make it taste slightly different. Imagine that racket that people would be so angry they'd start bootlegging stuff at home and just make drinking like rubbing alcohol because how these people get their own, they, they corner the market, I, I don't know. It, it makes me, uh, anyway, to finish, the, to finish this review here, <laughs> the next sentence is plum, blackberry, raw oak, raw oak, and salty flavors are chocolatey on finish. I mean, I can't ever imagine ever speaking like this. It's grapes, there's no plums, there's no blackberries, maybe the oak from the barrel, salt and chocolate. Drink through 2019, what does that mean? Like one bottle is gonna last for the next year or do I have to buy, it goes bad in 2019? I mean, I don't see any expiration date on it. Anyway, it's a 14 percenter, which is good. And by the way, it's not a $10 bottle, it's 1098 per bottle, which is, it's right on the cusp of being in the cheap wine reviews. But because it was so heavily discounted, I'm including it as like a sort of a special review. Uh, and I thought it was gonna have this like, like, like award-winning taste, this crazy, this crazy, wow, it's wine. It's wine. I mean, I'm gonna take another massive sip here. Let's, let's try it. You know, frankly, it's inoffensive. It doesn't taste bad, but I think I, I get a better ah factor from some of the cheaper wines, uh, like the like the five ninety nine uh, Explorador. I, I think is actually more refreshing from a practical standpoint. Um, I don't sit there and analyze every sip of wine I take. I don't pair it with anything. I just drink it and try to enjoy it. And if, in case you're new to this review. Uh, series, we 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 like good value. We like a, a, a decent alcohol context. We want to get a nice buzz. We drink two bottles to test, and I rate how I feel in the morning or during the day next day. Like I've had wines that were similarly priced and similarly uh, potent in alcohol content, where I actually felt really awful the next day. So. I guess my my way of reviewing it isn't this 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 imaginary flavor you have in your mind. It's it's how I actually physically really feel. There's no putting a, a an adjective on how I feel. I mean, I suppose I could I could come up with a no a new review system. I felt like a like a rotten log on the side of the highway after a three days in the hot sun with a couple slugs on my on my leg. I mean, I mean, can I be as creative with re rating the hangover? Can the hangovers have as many different descriptors? Inky and leathery, black fruits. What's a black fruit? I mean, the last black fruit I had was rotten. I mean, geez Louise, we had something in the fridge there. It was, it, it, it took on a new identity. I mean, I, 
this I find fascinating and the number of people, the, 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 the limited number of people that are kind of like poking fun at it and, and, and sort of, you know, it, it's a little bit of a mockery that how this industry, and I've said this in my previous reviews, that it's like some sort of pecking order, this is societal pecking order where people, you know, they schmooze and they and they say nice things about each other and obviously gifts are ex exchanged in return and people get free stuff and, and they create this like almost private walled industry where ordinary people like me who have a completely different way of, of enjoying a beverage, I don't have to enjoy your way or like I'm drinking with ice. You know how many people I've met in my life in ordinary life, not wine professionals, but just friends or acquaintances or, or, or other party goers at a party we've been to where they look at me when I drink my wine like I'm a substandard human being and that to me is a bunch of crap because I do what I want and just because you follow the rules and you, you've been sucked along into this mystery tour of what a real what wine is about I mean I think it's all contrived invented and, and, and completely fabricated just for the benefit of a few. And I mean, yeah, call me a conspiracy theorist, but again, the wine is subjective. I can go on and on and on. I've already, I already gone like 11 minutes on the first segment. This is gonna be another half hour review. I don't give a crap. I mean, th this is me, uh, uh, stream of thought. And, and this is real. This is, this is, more people should, should have this mindset. Now, maybe in the end, I will say that this $11 plus tax, almost $12 bottle of wine that was subjectively once priced at $25 or subjectively once priced at $38, according to this wine uh, enthusiast. <laughs> no, wine enthusiast means I like uh, just BSing about wine. I'm not BSing about anything here. God knows, I might feel like a million dollars tomorrow. I might feel, eh, I might feel like complete fecal stuff. I don't try not to curse on this uh, channel because they'll flag you or something. But I'll take another sip. And this is again, six and a half ounces of wine, eight ounces of water and the rest ice. And, and that's how I enjoy my wine. It's, uh, I drink fast. I have a huge, huge uh, throat volume. I don't know, I can handle a lot of traffic. I can drink like five gallons of water a day. I, seriously, I have. Wow, that was a big giant gulp of raw oak. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'll come back halfway through the second bottle. This bottle hasn't been tapped yet. Or oak corked. And I'm going to have another... I'm only halfway done with bottle number one. Again... I'm not really, there's nothing impressing me here. In fact, watered down, I think some of the cheaper wines are better. They have more, they have more lingering effects. This, I almost feel like I drank, um, even the, even the, 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 what do you call it? The straight on wasn't, wasn't all that great. Again, I, I can't emphasize enough the subjectiveness of a wine versus and, and the need to even have this, this flavor in your mouth. I want to know how I feel tomorrow. How, what kind of buzz? Am I happy? Uh, by the way, I just want to, real quick, side note, we're going getting into 13 minutes here. Ooh, I burped. A side note is that there, I've noticed that there's different kind of buzzes from different kinds of alcohol. And, and next week, next Monday, I'm going to do a special review on spike uh, seltzers. You need to, to hear this. It's 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 you're never gonna hear a review like this before. And it's gonna it's gonna completely blow away what everybody else says about it. It's it's unique and one of a kind. Maybe five people have heard it and they were only bystanders in the store when I expressed this sick feeling you get when you drink uh, seltzer, uh, spiked seltzers. But anyway, I lost my train of thought. We're gonna come back for another take. Uh, after maybe another bottle. I'm going to consume one, two, three, four more glasses of this. Maybe, what time is it now? Uh, God knows. It's like midnight, I think. It's like midnight. And I'll probably be back at like 1 or 1.30 1 or so. So that's it. I hope you enjoy my rambling and, and it makes sense because none of this other crap makes sense. The goal is to find like as close to a $5 bottle 
as possible for like a few months or close to a year and, and stick with it. That's why I like the Explorador, $5.99 a bottle. And I'm mad that the Rex Goliath uh, Free Range Red got ruined by going from 13.5 to 13%. That's it. I ramble a lot, but and I'm not editing anything. If you if you don't like what I have to say, um, maybe I should do a, a live stream, and then uh, we can have some uh, fun fun uh, discussions. But I'll be back in okay njroot22.com back at 1 a.m. This is the next to last glass of wine of this. Um, Bias, uh, Baika, whatever. <laughs> Can't figure out how to pronounce it. Baika. See, this is the greatest thing about filming while you're drinking. Because you can't really control your behavior and da da da. You can try, but it will never work because, like, the truth will always come out. And this is what I love about it. The truth always comes out. Whether you're like uh, inebriated or you're like slurring your words or whatever it may be. Alcohol is, is such a truth teller, you know, it's like, ah, uh, like people always tell their deepest secrets when they're, when they're drinking. Oh man, I'm bummed about this. Uh, oh, I, I did, I did this nefarious thing or Oh, I secretly like this person. Da, 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 da. It's like, there's no boundaries when you when you drink. Like, obviously here, like I have the ability to edit my video, and I've never actually said anything, even on an unedited or a cut piece of video that I really didn't want to say. Because <clears throat> I'm strong like that. Um, I'm never going to just say, oh yeah, well, I huh, dot, 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 fill in the blank. I'm well, not like that. And, uh, and two bottles of shit wine uh, doesn't really, uh... here, ready? It's time for, uh, I don't know, we're like fucking 20 minutes into this video. I want to see if it's refreshing. It's, a, it's an uninspired. I get a better uh, from uh, from other uh, other wines. This Baika Baika. Baika. Who the hell knows what it's called? It's B A I C A. This is called B A I C A. You know, like the new um, what was that rap group from the nineties? Uh, N W O. No, who who was it? Uh, whatever. I have one and a half glasses to go, and I'm gonna finish the two bottles, and I'm gonna go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to report on how I feel. And I'm very, today I have to tell you, I was extremely prolifically in tune with, with how, how to drink this. I didn't, I drank an entire glass, like, like a half glass and another half glass sample full strength and I f drank like eight or ten ounces of water right afterward just just to make sure that I, I didn't like I taint the review sample this is like like a lab sample you know I don't know when you think about it a bottle or two of wine is what what is it I mean are you trying to have an experience I love quotes, by the way. An experience, or you just want to have like a like a like a, a like a physical transformation. What what do you want when you buy or think about a bottle of wine? I don't know. I mean, my guess is that most people just want to get a freaking buzz, but yet. Society has transformed them into thinking, oh, let's bring a bottle of wine. Da da da. It it it, it brings a, like a like a a bottle of sophistication into their 
endeavor. Whether it's a freaking cocktail party, a card game, art gallery. The wine is for a buzz. Don't be so freaking like lame about it and deny it. You're not bringing it because you're sophisticated. You're bringing it because you want to have a buzz. And I, I think that most people just, because this alcohol was invented somehow, God knows, I haven't even like even dug into like the whole history of, of alcohol and like where it came from and how many cavemen did it. Like our history before the printing press is a little bit sketchy, you know what I mean? Like you have like hieroglyphics and crap in, in various parts of the world, but but I think some sort of like disconnection from society has always played a role. Like whenever someone dis uh, discovered some sort of like a, like mind altering plant or drug or whatever, like drug. Don't get me started about drugs. Drugs are. Drugs are bad. Like the actual chemically altered drugs. I mean, like alcohol is, is a drug in, in its own uh, sense. Let's do another sip. Let's see if it tastes good. <coughs> no, no. Something about this, this once $40 bottle of wine It doesn't give me the, the ah. I'm gonna finish this this glass and pour myself one more. I'm gonna kick, kick this second bottle and then go to sleep. Hey, this is the next day after this uh, Baika uh, wine. I drank two bottles of last night. I'm a little rough around the edges, but I have to say, I guess you can you can say that it um, it passed the test. Uh, if I feel like any worse later, um, or if something hits me like a brick. I'll uh, mention it in the in this comment or whatever, but I, I think it passed the test. But I'm not. I don't think I'm going to buy it again. I'm going to stick to my cheaper stuff. All right.